It's been a while. You've probably been wondering where I've been. Well, my journey is far from over. I still remember getting on the streets for the first time four months ago. My feet touching the very soil that would be flooded with tears, sweat, and blood. Some would be my own. Some of the people who opposed me. I've met great people. I've met horrible people. I've made mistakes too many to mention. But every mistake took me one step closer to where I am now. And where am I now, I hear you ask. Well, I don't know. What I do know, I'm not there just yet. And I am back, back, back. <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. Yes, either way, welcome back to another episode of Please Shoot Me Through the AKA Starting GTA Online Over. Remember the last episode? Probably not, because I can't even remember it. I was gone that long that GTA Man actually managed to copy my ID and overtake my series in episodes, so yes, it's time. But enough of this jibber jabbering, you guys want me to start this brand new chicken chili fillet, don't you? Well, you know I can't do that just yet, because what kind of man would I be if I don't feed every whimsical desire of my subscribers and read out some tips from you guys? in the comments in the section I like to call yeah I try to start over over again but I can't start over without a little help from my friends yeah reading some tips from you guys in the comments reading some tips to become good at GTA reading some tips from you guys in the comments Reading some tips And I swear I'm not gay Oh yes, we got it all here Killer tunes, high production, we got music, banter And not to forget, hectic pie saying that his pee-pee hurts You might want to see a doctor for that Then Soul Systems came in with a good old Oh my god, you're still doing this And I will keep doing it until I die And if I find a way to do it after I die I will keep doing it just for you And lastly, Tiberius says some shit again Either way, enough of these fantastic tips I will put them all to great use now let's start off this brand spanking new minced meat tortilla. So where have I been? Well, it's not quite like I've been doing nothing for the last few months, and in all fairness, I've been waiting to make another video for my starting over series, but there was an issue. I didn't do a whole lot, except expand my businesses. So allow me to show you. The last time you saw my GTA Online endeavors, I owned two businesses. The glorious Polito Bay Bunker and the counterfeit money thingy. And now I have the counterfeit money thingy, the wheat farm, the cocaine lockup, a brand new bunker location, a new vehicle warehouse, a nightclub. I needed a Mach 2 oppressor to get around the map, so I also got a tarot bite, and well, here I am. Yes, the operation has expanded tremendously. I needed money. Loads of it, cause a little bird told me a couple of months ago that the casino was opening soon. And I needed to be ready for that. I needed as much money as I physically could have, so I pumped every dime back into my operation. I upgraded nearly everything. The dear and awesome members of the YouTube channel helped me out greatly with selling my product. and. I I spent nothing of the money besides buying a terabyte and a Mark II oppressor. And then, well, a few months later, here I am and the DLC came and, well, it was unexpectedly and remarkably cheap. So, here I am right now with 25 million in my damn pocket, sitting on an enormous gold mine, hours upon hours of grinding and, well, nothing to spend it on anymore. But at least I have this enormous penthouse. I feel empty, without purpose. What's the point of having all this money if I'm just gonna scoot around on my damn broomstick? And then, it hit me like a truck. Who else is filthy rich and has high-tech weaponry? Who else lacked purpose because of a tragedy but turned his life around to become a great man? Yes, I would become the Batman. But like, more B-Tech. 
B-Tech Batman. B-Tech Man, yes. Kinda sounds nice. Yes. First things first, the outfit. So I needed something that would blend in, something that wouldn't draw too much attention, something that would send a clear signal that I was not to be f***ed with. And I think I spent a good 30 seconds in the clothing store until I saw it. Perfection. b -Tech Man is ready for duty. Next up, the vehicle. Vigilante? Too easy. Mark II Oppressor? That would be silly with this outfit, although I would be quite aerodynamic. No, 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 no. I need something quick. Yes, yes. The Scramjet. Perfect. And so, the hero the city doesn't need, nor it deserves, was born. It's time to hit the streets. <laughs> I joined a brand new lobby, but little did I know, I was about to step into the most cancerous lobby that has ever existed in the history of GTA Online. The first thing that befell upon my eardrums, the ear deafening bass booster 2000 European dance music blasting from a $15.1995 flip phone microphone. In the background, a raging party, a crying kid, and all of that left me wondering, what kind of people actually do this? But d -Tech Man doesn't discriminate. So I jumped in my scramjet, drove up to the beach, and without any hesitation whatsoever, I dove towards the ocean. And a sweet victory royale. But this was just the beginning. For he wished to face me, the mighty b -Tech Man. Let's begin the whooping. Shot after shot landed, but the music just went louder and louder. My eardrums popped and he went into passive mode. God damn it, no matter what I did, he would not leave. No matter the outcome of all of this, I took the L. I drove away slightly disheartened, but not even three minutes later, I witnessed another terrifying sight, a griefer in a laser harassing a poor, poor CEO. b man to the rescue. I dove up towards my target and I landed. He was coming straight in for another vile swoop, but then I dove up to the heavens, the EDM from the music blaster still beating down upon my eardrums and I shot and another victory royale go now quickly i told the purple ceo go before he's back and so he raced off my sense of victory royale quickly vanished for the goddamn music blaster was still picking away at my sanity one at a time maybe one more kill maybe one more would force him to leave so it was time. I raced towards LSIA where the music blaster was and I noticed he went out of passive mode. It is now or never. My heart was racing and I went in full throttle. My butthole clenched in a tight latex suit and I drove and I drove and there he was. I popped the rocket and it was the wrong guy. Oh! I broke the sacred b -Tech man code. I killed an innocent man. My anger got the best of me and I found a music blaster and I killed him by boosting into him while diving out. As I got the kill, tears started rolling down my face. What have I become? I wanted to be Batman, but I was nothing but a disgusting griefer. And so, I fell into despair. I went to the casino, looked at my scramjet, and I saw the blood and brains of poor Danny, which decorated the right inside of my vehicle. I failed Los Santos. So there was one thing left to do. I would gamble away everything I own. I would become a bum on the streets, but I sucked that much that I couldn't even do that. Instead of losing money, I won a lot of money. I truly am the biggest failure in Los Santos. And just as I thought my day couldn't get any worse, I got killed the moment I stepped outside of the casino. Yo guys, real talk. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more adventures of B-Tech, man, be sure to smash a like on this cup of cappuccino and subscribe for more. 
Before I end today's video, a huge shout out to all of the sponsors of the YouTube channel. The old, the new, and of course the sponsors of the past. You guys are the absolute best. Thanks for sticking with me. I've been super, super busy the last couple of weeks and I barely had time to create content. Having my awesome community in my corner is great. Thank you guys. If you wish to become a sponsor, check the join button down below for all the lovely perks you will be able to get. Alright, that would be all for today's video. I hope you had fun. Hope you're having a great day and I will see you again soon.